that number has nothing to do with your happiness. And this is something I would love to talk about today, mm. which is like, have you heard the concept of be, do, have? No, no. So the concept of be, do, have is so many of us, and I do this as well, is we focus on when we have the thing, then we'll be happy. There's also um, the doing, which I also do. Mm. We have to do the thing which will lead to the have and then we'll be happy. Mm. The real secret is actually the being of the person. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. I've heard it described also as the winner, the worker, and the victim. The victim right. is the same thing. When I have this, oh, I won't start being a good person until people start treating me right. Mm. You know, I won't um I won't bother being organized until like conditional. Like yeah, you have to make sure it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, it has yeah. to happen first. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's like um, with PT, I hear this sometimes where it's like, I'll get fit and then I'll get a coach. Mm -hmm. And it's like, trust me, you want the coach first and then, you know, start with the coach for six months and then let them go, not the other way around. Right, right. Um, and then we've got the the do part, the worker again, which is a solution to everything is to work harder, which mm. is very much instilled in me, my parents mm -hmm. or my dad's especially. Mm. You mm. have to earn what you get. Mm. Mm. So if you haven't worked for it, you mm. haven't earned it. Mm. And it's, mm. it's kind of hard for me to be working through that, working through it right now. Yeah, My right. natural reaction if something's wrong, work. Like yeah. do something, yeah. make something move, take action. Mm -hmm. And it's not always about that. And one of the best ways that I've learned how to describe this is two people can go to the gym and be training and be following the same program and, the, okay, like put genetics aside, mm. get very different results because what's going through one person's head might be different to the other. Mm. So what's going through one person's head might be this is so much fun. I'm very um, focused on what I'm trying to do. I have heaps of intensity. I have heaps of fire and drive. Mm. They're being – like an athlete, really. Mm. The other mm. person is like, I fucking hate this. I don't want to be here. My partner made me come here. I hate this shit. They're hardly going to do anything. Their intensity is not going to be there. They're going to get very different results. So mm. you just say same person, different mindset. Yeah. 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 That's where the B. Right. So like, right. Whenever we come up with these, like these points of, oh, when I get that bag, when I get that house, when I get that partner, when I get that job, it's like, who would you need to be to get that? And it's that. Fucking don't worry about the outcome. Because you know, about that usually shit. once you actually become that person, you don't even think about that. Right. Because being outcome based means that, first of all, it's like one of the drivers of anxiety, perfectionism, <laughs> because it's like, even like how you felt when you reached that goal way, it, the first video vision I got was a beauty pageant girl when she's like she finally got the crown and then she faints you know it's sort of that situation yeah yeah <laughs> where it's like um you know I've I've definitely used to have that mindset as well where it's like um especially even with fitness like I wanted because around here there's like you know like Doherty's which is like bodybuilding you know just metal raw metal yeah. everywhere I do like that too <laughs> That's good you. <laughs> you know, but then yeah. um as a <laughs> as a beginner, like when I first started, I was like, right, because you just seen girls like yeah. Dum, Dum, yeah. like looking at you with like their pecs out, like, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> who are you? You know, it's like, hey, my name's Alex, you know, like I don't <laughs> fucking know. So I was like, no, I'm gonna go to any, you know, like I'm gonna go to like more, you know, those 24-7. Um, the big box gyms. The big yeah. box yep. gyms. Um, because then if I do something dumb, then I'm not, no one's going to look at me. Like it was that sort of like insecurity, um, you know, look, obviously going to machines first, looking at that red thing that highlights the, the muscle. Yeah. You're like, yep, yeah. <laughs> booty, <laughs> done. <laughs> You yeah. know, and I'm like, yeah. So then, and then after that, it's so funny. Like, you're like, okay, once I get, and that's the thing. As I was like, once I get fit. Then I'll go to Doherty's, right? Yeah. Instead of actually yeah. just being like, no, everyone started there at one point. Yeah. You know? And um, like even now in my journey, like I don't think I touch, barely touch any machines, which is nothing wrong with them. But actually doing free weights and learning form, like what you said, getting a coach first, which is something I wish I did. Mm. Um, because then you're you can be doing the wrong form the whole time. So then you have to unlearn it. Mm -hmm your body, your mind-muscle connection has to change as well. Mm -hmm. And then you're just there, like, especially like something like deadlifts. I think that's, like, one of the hardest things to do. Maybe, if, I don't know for no, you. No, yeah, I have I have horrible videos. Uh, <laughs> actually, recording yourself is a good idea, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Do. If anyone's listening, please yeah. do. <laughs> All angles. 
<laughs> especially the one from the back. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, um, but yeah, like exactly what you said. I love how you 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 know it's not outcome based because mm-hmm. then every because also those are out of your control, mm-hmm. right? Yes, they're exactly. not they're not something that and and then if they don't go according to your plan, which nothing ever does, yep. that's when you break down. That's Completely. when. The, you know, the wall falls beneath you and you're like, fuck, yeah. who am I? What am I doing? Yeah. Am I defined by just this? Is this my identity? That outcome? Yeah. And will, and is that, is that what happiness means for me? Yeah. Because that's, that's very fleeting. And that means you're, you'd be like, ah, don't go. Ah. Yeah. You know, like yeah. all the time. It's just, it's a yeah. terrible place to be, honestly. Yeah, and it's like if someone's listening, they're like, okay, but what does B mean? Because this, I just want the how to, the seven steps to the B, right? Mm. This is how my brain right, works. Right, right, right. Uh, and I would say, think about your, you know, your moral compass. Think about your values. Think about boundaries or standards that you have. Right. Think about character traits that no matter what happens, like you say, if things just go horribly wrong when it comes to you sleeping at night, you can still hold your head high. That's the being mm. rather than, again, because you might naturally go, oh, well, then I have to I have to go to Doherty straight away. I have to run a marathon. No, no, no. It's the mindset of the person who would do something like that. So then if we're thinking of like the, the Anytime Fitness or the Doherty's example, it might be, well, you know, maybe I have to be a little bit courageous. Mm. <laughs> you know, how mm. can I be courageous mm. today? Mm. You know, mm. and it could be in multiple different areas of life. I just start small. Maybe I go to a class that I wouldn't have gone to. Mm. Maybe I message someone on Instagram who's a coach who can help me with what gym to go. Like, right, you know, just right. like baby steps in terms of that character trait. Right. And do and, and you feel like gyms, like the type of gym matters? Do you feel like it's a, you okay. know, because there's these levels to this shit. It's so interesting, man. So you're asking someone who has a home gym and two gyms. I saw shit. that, which is, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so um i would say as a beginner gosh it's a good question i was gonna say no but vibe matters to an extent and you do yeah like you do want to feel comfortable to an extent yeah it's probably going to be really uncomfortable it is it took me like two years to actually get into a squat rack so right. just to put that into perspective for yeah because people say oh she's a personal trainer she's competed once she's going to compete again mm. it's never been a problem for her yeah yeah mm. yeah like i was sitting on the floor at like an apartment gym trying to watch a girl like squat mm, in a squat wow. rack going like how did she put the you know the handles in how did she do this mm. is it heavy i don't even know what the, like is the bar heavy am i going to drop the bar right right um, it's okay it's okay we all start somewhere yeah. <laughs> um, like i think vibe matters to an extent um in terms of equipment and stuff again it's like with the basics you know a couple of machines a couple of dumbbells you'd be fine yeah do get the help first why do i have two gyms uh, two gym memberships and please tell gym? So uh, for me, there's a leg press that I prefer at one gym okay. because I'm quite short and right. the leg press at the other gym, um, the stoppers actually, my legs are too short oh. and the, it hits stoppers and you can't oh. change them. <laughs> and it's like, yes, I could try and like um, get some padding behind my back, but there's none at the gym. So I'd have to bring the padding right. and stuff. So right. yeah. Yeah, right. But then <laughs> like with the, the gym that has the leg press you want, why not just stay with that? Is, yeah. it, is it just you're at that point of your fitness journey where it's like specific Sort of. Shit. So the other gym has some amazing mirrors oh, okay. for posing. Practice. Right, right. <laughs> so that has the good mirrors for the pro- posing. Yeah. The other gym has a good leg press. Right, um, right. My home gym, I love my home gym. I'm making it better now. Yeah. Um, but my home gym is, will help save me some time because both of these gyms are about a 20, 25-minute drive and sometimes there's traffic. It could be 40 minutes right, to get there. Right, right. Um, so I have my <laughs> Gym, just in case I need to save some time. <laughs> yeah. And do you do you want to make it – do you want your home gym to be a full-time gym eventually? It's interesting. I've just started considering it. So yesterday uh, I moved some equipment around. I'm looking at getting some mirrors in there um, to pose in there as well because I right. probably need to pose daily. Yeah. Um, and I Which start- I can't wait to talk about with the <laughs> – <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just started thinking if I can get a leg press in there, cause I've got, I've got, uh, I've got a cable machine, I've got a squat rack, I've got incline bench, flat bench, nice. I've got like the adjustable dumbbells. Um, up to a, how much, like 40, 50 kilos? Like, are you, are you going no, all the way up? No, 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 man. So it's only up to 24 kilos, okay. the adjustable dumbbells. Yeah. Um, 
and then a leg curl, leg extension. So it's like if I get a leg press in there. Oh, you're sorted. I'm I'm sorted. I think you're sorted. <laughs> and it'll be, I mean, I think I've definitely considered that in the future. I think that the good thing about a gym, though, is it's the social aspect. Yeah. So it's like if you do want to go out and be around other gym gym rats, you know, and be like, yes, I want to feel smell the sweat. Yep. I want to like, you know, kind of get inspired. Maybe if you're not feeling like up yep. to, you know, you're at most best self sometimes you're like no I want to see someone who's just like killing it you know and then so then I'm inspired and I can do that so in the way this like it both it works for both vibe does matter yeah um and that's where somewhere like um Doherty's is pretty cool mm. the vibe in there is pretty cool mm. um and it is it can be really inspiring mm. um like you said the other thing for some people for a lot of the clients I coach they actually don't have friends who train so right and some of them are geographically quite isolated too and it's like it's nice to have an outlet where you're around potentially like-minded people like not always yeah but potentially someone who likes lifting and can understand what a PB is because otherwise people are like yeah cool like okay nice. <laughs> cool story bro like i don't even know if a 100 kilo deadlift is good like yeah. is that is that heavy <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. um so yeah vibe vibe yeah vibe, vibe is a big deal yeah